Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the first meal prep of 2022. It is New Year's Day, Happy New Year. I actually didn't even plan on meal prepping until next week. So I was gonna do uh, like a chat video this week and then next week I was gonna get back to filming my meal preps. But since I am actually meal prepping today, even though it's a small one, I thought I'd pull my camera out and take you along with me. So for today, it's only going to be breakfast and lunch. I have no dinner kits that I'm putting together and nothing to do for snacks. So on the meal plan this week for breakfast prep, Deb, here's the recipe you were wanting me to make. This is Monte Cristo breakfast casserole, and it looks so good. I've not had this one before, so I'm really anxious to try this. And then for lunch prep is my chicken fried rice, which I have not done this one in quite a long time. Absolutely love this one. I love all the flavors that are combined in it. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. I'm currently following the WW Personal Points program, but on my channel, I also share calories as well. With that being said, you don't need to be on any type of weight loss program to get tips and ideas from my channel. I'd love to have you as part of the family by clicking the subscribe button. Also make sure to hit the notification bell because that's what notifies you anytime I upload new content. Very quickly, I want to say Happy New Year. I hope you all had wonderful holidays. I want to say thank you for your patience and waiting for me to get back to my videos. I really appreciate it. I don't want to get into too much about how my December went in this video. I'm going to I'm planning on doing a chat video that I'll kind of talk a little bit more, but my December ended up way more busier than I had even anticipated. I did put uh, a post up earlier in December, letting people know that I, I probably wasn't gonna be doing a lot in December. It was just a very, very, very busy month. So I'm okay, it just life was in the way and I'll go into more of that in a chat video. But like I said, I did wanna do this meal prep. It's a small meal prep, so if you're new to meal prepping, this is a good one for you because I'm only doing breakfast and lunch. So if you're new here, I meal prep for my husband and I for the week. When I say the week, it's really only just three days. I don't like to prep out farther than three days. There's a lot of things that I cook ahead of time and I don't like to keep them cooked in my fridge longer than the three days that's pretty much why and then that way in the end of the week we might just have sandwiches or cereal something very basic and simple as with all my videos the recipes that I'm making will be linked down in the description box and also any of the items that I use like my meal prep containers my scale different items that I show in the video I try to put direct links down in the description box below usually for the items I'm using in the video as well as some of the regular items that I use as well so with all that out of the way let's get started with this meal prep Okay, so starting with the first breakfast meal prep of 2022, this one is a recipe that I've never tried before. My friend Deb sent this to me. Deb, thank you very much. And she asked me if I had tried this recipe. I said no, but it looked awesome. And she said, good, then I expect to see it on a future meal prep. So Deb, here you go. So this recipe is called Monte Cristo breakfast casserole. This is a recipe from pounddropper.com. So for the points and calories on this, we'll start with the calories. They are 193 per serving. This makes enough for eight servings, but I'm kind of thinking I might just make it into six. So for my personal points, it's five points, but if I make it into six rather than eight, it only changes it by one, it becomes six points. So I think I'm probably gonna just do that. I'm just gonna put it into six. So just keep that in mind. The recipe as it is, is for eight. The only difference on the recipe, it just says vanilla extract. It doesn't tell you how much to use, but when I went to, when I clicked to see the WW points and went to her recipe on WW, it says two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So just keep that in mind. It's two teaspoons of the vanilla extract. All right, so what we need for this is 12 slices of one point bread. So here I have the 12 slices. You can use whatever one point bread you want. She uses Sara Lee 45 calorie. The kind that I use is nature's own. So just make sure that it is truly one point bread. And then you also need a six ounce package or 10 Canadian bacon or ham slices. So I have some Canadian bacon that I get from Sam's Club. 
We also need seven slices of ultra thin Swiss or provolone cheese cut into pieces. So I'm using ultra thin provolone and I only have six slices. So what I did is just weighed out the slices so I could see how many grams it was. And I've added in about 10 grams of this reduced fat cheese just to make up for the other slice that I don't have. Next, we're gonna need two tablespoons of Dijon mustard and also one tablespoon of water. So in here, I've already mixed the two tablespoons of mustard with the one tablespoon of water. We're also gonna need one and a quarter cups of unsweetened almond milk or skim milk. We also need either six eggs or one and three quarter cups of egg beaters. The two teaspoons of vanilla extract, a half a teaspoon of salt and a pinch of pepper. And then the other thing she said is two teaspoons of confectioner sugar just for dusting at the end and also no sugar added raspberry preserves. So she said she uses about one half to one tablespoon per serving. So this is the kind that I'm gonna use. So for the confectioner sugar and this, I'm not gonna put these on until the day that I actually eat them. So I'm gonna be putting this into six meal prep containers and then I'll just scoop this out the day that I actually have it. So I won't, you won't be seeing me put that on there today. Okay, so what we need to do with this, I have a 13 by nine inch pan that I've sprayed with cooking spray. So now what I wanna do is cut six of the slices of bread into cubes. And then we wanna just spread those around the prepared pan. So now I've set the other slices aside and I'm just gonna cut up the Canadian bacon and the cheese. So on the recipe for the cheese, it says cut into pieces, but then when you read the directions, it says layer with the, the cheese strips. So you don't have to cut them into small pieces. You can just cut them into strips if you want. It's not gonna matter because it's all gonna just melt in there anyway. So now we're gonna layer it with the bacon and then the cheese. And then remember I have the other, what I'm gonna call another slice of the cheese. So I'm gonna set that aside and cut up the rest of the bread. So now if you haven't already mixed your Dijon mustard and water, go ahead and do that now. And then just pour that right over the top. and then top it with the rest of the bread. And then just try and even it out as best you can. Set that aside. So now what I'm gonna do is just crack the six eggs into this bowl. So we're gonna just combine without the shells. All right, so we need six eggs in here. And then to the eggs, we're gonna add the two teaspoons of vanilla, the half a teaspoon of salt, and the pinch of pepper, and one and a quarter cups of either the unsweetened almond milk or the skim milk. And I wanted to show you all this new measuring cup my husband got me for Christmas. Let me know in the comments if you've seen these. So it has this ridge on the side. I don't know if you can really tell it, but what it is is so that you can see it from the top. You can see how much it's measuring rather than pouring something in there and having to lift it up and try and keep it eye level. This way you can see it as you're pouring it in. I thought this was the coolest thing. So we need one and a quarter. So I'm just, I'm at one now and there is one and a quarter. This is like seriously the coolest thing. So I will be sure to link this down in the description box. This is made by OXO, which is actually the brand of the salad spinner, I believe. So pour that right in there and then just whisk that together. So after that's all mixed together, now we're just gonna pour it right over the casserole. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this and before we bake it, it's gotta go in the fridge for at least an hour or up to overnight. 
I'm actually gonna do mine overnight and then I'm gonna come back tomorrow and finish it up. All right, so I've had a slight change of plans. It's still the same day. Uh, this has been in my fridge for probably about two hours. And I just found out that we are gonna have our grandchildren overnight tonight. And then I'm not sure how long we'll have them tomorrow. So I decided I'm just gonna get everything done before they come over. That way I can just spend whatever time with them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this going. So like I said, this has been in my fridge for about two hours. Now just uncover it and put in a preheated 350 degree oven for 35 to 40 minutes or until the top is brown. All right, the breakfast is done. That's what it looks like. It looks really good. Let's see if I can zoom in on there. There we go. Like I said, the recipe actually calls for this to be put into eight servings, but I'm gonna do it into six. This is gonna be six points for each of us, for my husband and I. And then the lunches are gonna be four points. So between our breakfast and our lunch, it's gonna be 10 points. So then we'll adjust our dinner and snacks based around that. So what I'm gonna do is use these two compartment containers. I only have five of them, so I'll use a three compartment for one. And I'm gonna put the casserole on one side and then I'm gonna take these to work with me. This is no sugar added fruit. So right now I have to be careful with the fruit that I'm eating. So I can have canned kinds that are very soft. So I'm gonna just take this to work and then I don't wanna put it in the container now because I'm gonna be heating the casserole during the week. So I'll just bring the whole can and then each day I'll just add it to the container. So now I'm just gonna divide this into six portions and get it into the meal prep containers. So there is what it looks like. It looks delicious, cannot wait to try this. So I'm gonna stick this clip in somewhere. After I got done meal prepping, I realized that I could just put the jam and the confectioner sugar in these little containers and then that way I have them all ready for the week. So I just measured out about a tablespoon of that sugar-free jam and then some confectioner sugar. I didn't measure this out because this one is actually swerve confectioner sugar. So this is zero points anyway. So I'm just gonna be putting enough just to sprinkle over the top. And then when I go to heat it, I can take these two out. The, to heat it, it's probably just gonna take maybe like a minute to, re, to heat it in the microwave. So these little containers, these ones I get from the Dollar Tree. You can get them for like 10 for a dollar. Although I know Dollar Tree was changing, so I'm not sure if they're a dollar anymore. And then these ones I just keep. They're ones that come with like meal delivery kits and I just wash them and keep them. So that is the Monte Cristo breakfast casserole. to lunch prep for lunch this week we're gonna do chicken fried rice this one I actually don't have the recipe on my website yet I made this a long time ago and I just kind of threw things together and I realized I never actually put the recipe together on my website so uh, right now I only have it in the WW app but by the time you see this I'll have it linked in my website so for the points and calories on this I realized I didn't put the calories for the points for me on personal points, it's four points. All right, so what we're gonna need for this one is three tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce. We also need about one and a half pounds of boneless skinless chicken breast. I've already diced that up. And then an uncooked shallot. I don't have any shallots, so I'm just gonna use a red onion. You definitely don't need to do that if you don't want. Sometimes I even put like a bell pepper in there too. But because I'm gonna be using a lot of the mixed vegetables, I'm just gonna do the onion. So in here, I have about four cups of these mixed vegetables. This is just Publix brand. The other things we're gonna need is a teaspoon of sesame seed oil. I just realized I'm completely out of eggs. The last six eggs I had, I used for the breakfast. So it's just scrambled eggs that you add into it anyway. So if I end up going to the store and getting some eggs, I can always add that later. 
And then the other thing is three cups of cooked white rice. If you want to use brown rice or jasmine rice, that's completely up to you. I am using white rice and I already cooked this yesterday. So I cooked up a great big thing in my Instant Pot. So to cook this in my Instant Pot, what I do is just take equal amounts of long grain white rice with water or chicken broth and then I pressure cook it on low for about 17 minutes for white rice and then I let it naturally release for 10 and it that's it and then I just store it in my fridge and can use it for recipes for the week so I went ahead and cooked that already so now over here on my stove <laughs> This is a huge wok that I use when I make my chicken fried rice. I just, I find that it's got a lot more room to cook in there. So I have that heating up on my stove and I'm gonna get my chicken cooking. For the chicken, I'm gonna add a little bit of this Montreal chicken seasoning. So if you have chicken seasoning, you wanna add that, you can. And depending if you use the low sodium soy sauce, I may add a little bit of salt and pepper. Um, a lot of times soy sauce and sesame seed oil is already has a lot of salt in it So a lot of times I don't add that but because I'm using the low sodium. I may add a little bit of salt and pepper So I have actually just sprayed this generously with some olive oil cooking spray And I'm just gonna get my chicken cooking Okay, I've got this picked up off my burner so that you don't know, hear the squealing from it cooking. So after that is done now, I'm just gonna put that in a bowl and set it aside. All right, now I sprayed the wok with a little bit more cooking spray. Now add the onion. And the four cups of vegetables. And I have my heat on about medium high. And just let that cook until they're no longer firm. All right, so I've turned my burner down and these are definitely done. Now I'm gonna create a well for my eggs. Yes, I said my eggs. My husband heard me say that I was all out of eggs, so he ran down to the store and got me eggs. So I'm just gonna add three eggs in there very quickly because they're gonna start cooking right away. And I wanna get them scrambled up. So this is pretty much kind of how I do it. So just cook that until the egg is completely scrambled. All right, now you can just Mix that in with the vegetables. Now we're going to add the rice. And if I had just cooked this rice, I would go ahead and add the chicken at this point too. But since my rice has been sitting in my fridge, I'm just going to kind of let that get a little bit of a sear to it. And then I'll just add the chicken after that. As you can see, that makes quite a bit with the rice. So you can definitely cut the rice down to two cups if you wanted. So now I'm gonna add the chicken. And now I'm gonna add the teaspoon of sesame seed oil. And the three tablespoons of soy sauce. I like to just do like two tablespoons first and then I can always add more after. All right, now I'm gonna just add the rest of that soy sauce. And then just mix that up real well and that's it. Okay, so depending on how technical you wanna get, you can either weigh all this and split it out evenly or just eyeball it. The way that I look at it, throughout the week, if you eyeball it, it's gonna come out anyway. It's gonna even itself out. But for purposes of exact measurements, what I do is just put it on my scale. So this is, it keeps going up because of the heat. So it's gonna come out to about 350 grams for each container. So let me show you what that's gonna look like. All 
All right, so that's 355. So it's gonna give that much. So that is a huge portion. So definitely should hold us off. I don't think we're gonna need any afternoon snacks after this amount of food for lunch. Honestly, I really think that for me personally, I would be fine with half of this portion, but we'll see. We'll see how hungry I am throughout the week. So I'm gonna get these portioned out into the rest of the containers. Okay, so that is lunch. I had to use a three compartment one. I only have five of the single compartment ones. So I have five single, five doubles, and then I have like eight of the three compartment ones. So this is gonna be lunch prep this week. And like I said, for me on WW, that whole portion is only four points. So that is the chicken fried rice. Okay, so like I said, no dinner kits this week. So this is my meal prep. And for snacks, I have some bananas. I may just have those. I do have, I think I might have a little bit of pretzels in my cabinet. I have some everything hummus in my fridge. I think I'm gonna stop tomorrow and pick up some celery to snack on that throughout the week. So that's pretty much gonna be the extent of my snacks this week. So like I said, the breakfast and then the lunches, I'm super excited. I can tell you, I this is absolutely delicious. This one I have never tried. So after I try it, I'll make sure to pop something up and let you know how it was. So if you're new to meal prep, this is probably a good one because it's just breakfast and lunch. I didn't put together my dinner kits, but if you do want to see how I put my dinner kits together, I'll put a video down below that shows you what I do for those. So if you're new, I hope you'll subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Don't you know that